Today, we're going to be doing a lot with virtual machines. We're going to be building out tons of them. And I say building out, really. It's just downloading and running just pre-built ones. There's a script and a project I found that sometimes when it comes to virtual machines, and you just want to try out like a new distro or whatever it might be, or maybe you want to install Windows or Mac. Uh, a lot of times it's like, okay, you got to do this and then look at all these settings and then set up these settings in the virtual machine, maybe edit the XML. Ah, it's just too much. It's too much. Enter quick EMU. And it is absolutely amazing. So let's not waste any time and jump right on the desktop and start installing quick EMU and its GUI component, quick GUI. And then we just launch into these systems with zero configuration. What a what a cool project. We're just gonna copy paste these things and off we go. Now this is Ubuntu. If you need anything else, I would check that. You will have to build from source or maybe use Nix. I know if you're an Arch user, you could use the AUR to do this as well. So all those are options, but today, we're just gonna be doing it the easy way. So uh, we're just gonna copy and paste each command over into here and just let it go. So we've installed all the dependencies. Now we're installing the actual quick EMU. This is the CLI utility and that's done. And now let's just grab the GUI utility. So three cut and paste later. And we're almost done. I know it's only been 30 seconds. I tried to get you done as fast as possible. I could have dragged this out into like a 30 minute demo, but we're not doing that. Okay. And now that's done. Now, what are we going to do with this? Hmm. Probably the easiest way is just launch into the GUI as I kind of want to make this stupid simple. So let's just do that. Let's just go quick GUI. There's a couple settings I would recommend changing right out of the get-go. You got this ugly red theme, but ah, dark mode. Ah, so much better. Uh, let's go manage directory where VMs are stored. I kind of like to make like its own directory. Don't just leave it in the home directory. So change the to dark theme if you like the dark theme and then change it to like a dedicated VMs directory. With that done, let's create a new one. Hmm. What do we want to try today? We got Arch, we got Debian, Fedora. That's always a good one. Kubuntu, you know, I got a sweet spot for Kubuntu. Let's try the new uh, non-LTS spin, 2210. I don't, I don't think I've tried that yet. We'll download it, see how it goes, and if we can launch right into it. As you see up here, this is downloading not only the image to install it, but also it gives our VM all of its configuration settings. We're not going to have to do anything except click run and go. All right. And the download is finished just like that. Let's dismiss it. We'll click out of the downloader. Let's manage existing ones. Let's just click play. Sounds good to me. We'll close out of that and let's, uh, I guess, install and try Kubuntu, right? Yeah, we'll just go full screen with this. If you do need to get out of full screen, just hold Control Alt F to get out. Uh, we're going to install it today. Continue. See, we're already in the install process, which is kind of cool. It downloaded the whole Kubuntu 2210 image for us. Uh, it goes ahead and creates all the virtual machine settings. So we're ready to rock. And the cool thing about this, you might notice uh, this right here, we're already 50% through the install process and it's been less than a minute. Uh, the settings and optimizations that are done with QMU, it reads how many processing cores you have, how many threads are available, and goes ahead and auto optimizes this. So almost always faster. Like even when I, I tweak my own uh, virtual machine settings that I've set up probably a hundred plus in my machine, this one does just as good a job as I can do when I sit there and take the time and tweak it out. That speaks volumes of how good this script is. And just like that, we are finished. Let's reboot. Now this is gonna be the very first boot on install. Let's see how fast this is. Um, obviously we don't even have any installation media. It just does it all for you, removes it like it ejects it. 
And we should have our first boot coming up with Kubuntu. And how long do you think this will be? It's, uh, that's pretty darn fast. Oh my gosh. What's this feel like when we uh, launch into it? Oh, that, that feels very responsive. I dig it. We even have opacity effects, PyCom. All right, cool. Well, game on. This is pretty darn slick. I think we're just going to shut this bad boy down and move on to the next one. So let's create a new machine this time around. I mean, let's, do we have Windows in here? Yeah, Windows. There it is. Let's select which version. Let's do 10. Oh, let's choose English. Can it go and download like the ISO and everything? That would be kind of sick, right? Holy smokes, look at it go. Yeah. <laughs> this is only going to take a, like maybe 30 seconds. That's just, oh, I'm so impressed by this. Finished. All right, Let, let's see what this looks like. Really? Did it just download Windows 10 in 60 seconds? Does it start? Get out. Get out of here. This isn't going to work. Right? How fast can we install Windows? It was, uh, what, 11.15 is when we started the download of the ISO and finished it in that same minute. So 11.15 is when we started. Let's see where I'm at after uh, we, we finish the install. Let's not waste any time. Let's go next, next, finished. Wait, it's even a custom installer? Get out. All right, judging by this so far, I think we're going to be hitting the desktop within five minutes. Literally, I clicked download Windows 10. We're probably on like minute two or three right now. And it's already probably halfway through the install process. I don't want to jinx myself, but I think we can literally start the download, install, and get on the desktop within five minutes with this tool. Now, this is interesting. And we're, we're over five minutes now. And this is actually the third reboot. It's running updates, it looks like. Is it skipping the out-of-box experience too? Because it sure is acting like a full unintended install, which would kind of be awesome. Like if you're going to use this, you just want to get into Windows. So I think that's exactly what happened. There was no out-of-box experience, so you don't select the username or anything, it looks like. Let's, let's see what happens when I get on the desktop. I still say that is creepy. Like, why would you put that on your installer? Creeps me out every time I install Windows. My favorite was when they did, like, I think it was the update, and they said, hey, uh, <laughs> everything is exactly where you left it during the update. And I was like, this does not make me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back on the we're on the desktop now. It does look like it took about a full 10 minutes. But what what username are we using? That's the one thing I'm kind of curious about. Okay, it said quick EMU. So it went ahead. There is no out-of-box experience, just spit you right there. This looks like it's the latest. Is this 22 h 2 Let's do a winver. Yeah, 22H2. So it did all the updates, installed everything. Now I could probably go through and debloat this and do all that business. Uh, let's take a look at our display settings. Do we have full? Let's go 1080. Keep changes. Cool. Pretty responsive. Let's take a look at our device manager. I wonder if it even installed the QMU agent. Yeah. QXL for drivers. So it, it went ahead and installed a bunch of and slipstreamed a bunch of QMU drivers. So not only did it set up the whole virtual machine, but it even has a custom Windows where it's slipstreaming those Red Hat drivers needed to make all this function. That's that's kind of kind of amazing. Like all within about 10 minutes from start to finish, start to download to the desktop in a 10 minutes with all the drivers, that's usually a couple hours for an average person. So hell yeah, that's amazing. Now, obviously we could de-bloat and use this a bit more, but I have another Windows instance I use with PCI Pastor and all the, all the fixings. So probably not, I just kind of wanted to see what we get. What we got, pretty damn awesome. Hell yeah, quick EMU, use it, holy smokes. I am beyond impressed. Now, uh, 
Well, let's just shut this guy off. Jeez. So awesome. And, and the cool thing about it, since it's launching from their little GUI, when it's done, there's no other residuals. It's just poof. Ah. Greatness right there.